Hi guys. So okay, uh, hello there, guys. So I received the uh, comment from one of my subscribers asking uh, about comparisons from Genshin and Honkai, and because uh, he's a Genshin player and is in and is interested in playing Honkai. So yeah, I'm gonna do it in parts so that it will not take so much time for me. So I can do it, uh, get it done sooner. So first I will talk about the gacha, which is better, Genshin or Honkai? Well, basically more or less they are the same. However, uh, Honkai Impact has been around longer and it has, uh, and uh, Honkai just feels, uh, if you're a new player, it feels easier to get uh, more S ranks with Honkai because uh, there are uh, more, there are already a lot of chapters, like 20 chapters of story quests, main quests that you can get crystals from. And, it, and Honkai has a lot of beginner bonuses. You can get a lot of crystals from there, a lot of uh, summoning cards, supply cards. And if you start a new game in Honkai, aside from all these bonuses, which are too long to mention, uh, what's, uh, what's uh, the benefits with starters is in the standard banner in Honkai or the dorm supply banner, the, the first PT for the S rank guarantee is if i can remember correctly it's around 25 to 30 pulls which is easy to do as a new player as because you you're gonna get a lot of login and a lot of other bonuses that will give you supply cards for the dorm or the standard banner in honkai for free so you're gonna sure to be getting your first s rank in just a couple of days with honkai and also with the beginner bonuses, I think you, you need like uh, to complete a specific beginner event. I will mention it in the comment. I can't remember. I think you, you get, you, if you reach a, a specific level like 50, I think, or something like that, you will get a Valkyrie S rank egg, which you can, you can choose your first S rank Valkyrie. Okay, so for the gacha rates comparisons, for both the standard banner and the dorm supply banner for the Honkai. So it's they are basically uh, trash. They are more of a trap. That is after you get your first S rank in the uh, dorm supply banner in Honkai. After you get the first 30 S rank guarantee. After that it's a waste of crystals, it's a trap. Same with the standard banner in Genshin, which is even more of a trap because you will never know what you get. Uh, you will get a weapon that you don't need, that you don't like. Okay, so that's a really a worse experience. But uh, a benefit in Honkai's dorm supply banner is 70%. There's a chance, like, if, correct me if I'm wrong, there's a 70% chance that you will get a new one. The one that you don't already have, you will get 70% chance to get a new S rank Valkyrie that you don't really already own. So for Genshin, uh, it's really uh, still uh, random. You could get the same 5 star weapon or 5 star character that you don't need a copy of in Genshin standard banner. For the limited banners, uh, for Genshin, uh, the 50-50, so it's a 50-50 for Genshin. You need like 90 pulls and it's a 50-50 coin flip. For uh, Honkai Impact, their limited banners called the Expansion Banner, it's a uh, guarantee within 100 pulls, you will be guaranteed the... Uh, Featured limited S rank Valkyrie.
So yeah, so I think that's basically it. Uh, I will uh, comment, uh, leave a description or a comment down below. Uh, if anything else I want to add about the banners. So yeah, so thank you so much for tuning in.